हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सीवा ट्यूब सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू डिलीट अ रिकॉर्ड बाई यूजिंग आई डी सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल सी दैट हाउ टू फाइंड अ रिकॉर्ड बाई यूजिंग आई डी सो फर्स्ट ओपन द क्लिप्स सो हियर दिस इज माई प्रीवियस प्रोजेक्ट in this i will create one method in the service first i have to create one abstract method in my service interface so i will create here one method public employee mp model model first i have to see what the my model name is employee model so i will create employee model employee model this will be written type and find by id i will pass id so this is my abstract method which i have created in employee service so right now we have to implement this method in service impl so i will implement this method here so here i will write the logic how to find a record by using id so first of all i will create one empty object for employee model employee model object so npl provide an employee model np real model so here i can here i created one empty employee model just because of why here find by id i will call here one method that is in repository so that method will return entity means that method will return the entity object so we have to take that entity object we have to take that entity object and copy to emp model now we will create empty employee entity employee emp entity is equal to null so why i have written here employee because my entity name is employee so this i have created this one now finding data by id so i will take that reference of repository here this repository i will take the reference to call the repository method repository dot find by id so id i have passed this id here this id i am passing here so this is returning one optional employee means optional entity so we have to store in optional entity mp hello why employee so 
we have to this one we have to import this one java.util so I'm importing that one so right now I access the data is this one from from here I have access the data into this but there is no guarantee that data is available in this or not if impay id is wrong if data is not found in the database then what here one proxy object will be assigned to this it will give the proxy object here so here right now we will check the data is available or not if data is data is data is present in okay or not so if okay optional dot one method is there is present is present or not if data is present then what we have to do we have to take that data and copy so for getting the data there is one method so we are getting the data from optional entity to employee entity so i will here employee entity is already created so i will emp emtity it is equal to optional emp dot get method so this method is returning optional entity so i have stored in optional entity so now data is available in this if data is present then it will be copied to means it will be assigned to this employee entity then after we have to assign that data into my emp model so copying that data employee model model so better not to confuse I will write all employee yeah now I will copy so for copying there is one method that is there is one class and one static method DM being util as it is dot copy copy properties source my source is emp e entity and target is e model my source is emp entity my target is emp model so entity object will be copied to emp model so now I copied that. So okay. Now what I have to return here? I have to return EMP model. So now it's completed. It's completed. Now I will write this logic to access that logic here. In mail so I will comment this system service dot find by ID so I will be I will pass so first I will see here what the data is available in database 
where the data is available in database so I will select to start from so these are the data available in the database these are the data available in the database so suppose I want to access this one 45 so I will give here ID 45 so let's run the project spring boot app so it's running so see here what the id i have given on the basis of that id data is executed this data comes as output now if i will give the wrong data like 89 means wrong id i have given now what happens just see what is going to be happen if I will so here I have given the wrong output means wrong input means that ID is not available in the database then what it is returning all the values as null so I don't want this null I want some some output that this ID is not available or some exceptions generated so we have to go for custom exception user defined exception so i will write logic of user defined exception so first i will create one exception custom exception so new package from the entity dot exception so here i will create one class data not FOU and font exception data not font exception so for creating the user defined exception we have to extend our class by runtime runtime exception so here I will create one constructor data not found exception and here we have to pass means from where the exception I have to generate throw where we will throw the exception from there we have to pass some string value so I will capture that string value here and I will pass to super class so now our user defined exception is created now I have to use so where I have to use where the exception is I want to gender so here else part th row throw new what the a data, data not from exception mm. data not found for given id what's the id is i will pass this id means emp id what the id is given by the end user so this one is created now our null values will not be returned it will throw the exception if the id is not found so let's run the application again first i will see the data what i am passing means id 89 okay so here run
yeah see it is selecting but if data is not available in our database then it is throwing this exception our user defined exception data not found for data not found for given id 89 the id given by the end user this data is not available in the database so this is the process for i covered for creating the user defined exception also so these all are the crud operations i will make one video for find all and delete all also so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then please comment share and subscribe thanks for watching